Hello, hello. I backtracked over to the deserted atelier because there's this whole section that I somehow missed. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Um, so I want to check this place out. And then I also crafted the heat wave mod. I think that was from the, um, the jar pot, whatever boss that was in this area. And it dropped the material that you could use to craft the mod. There's a drop down section. I wonder, can you get back up? I don't think so. I guess I can't do poison damage with my gun to the foes or the uh, does, my bad. Taken or token of favor. I have to find the dose of jewel. Yeah, okay, it works. Let me switch back to the one I had equipped. Oh, a new amulet. What does this do? Call of the Doe increases movement speed by 4% per stock. When Call of the Doe expires, we gain one relic charge per stock. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. You could have like infinite relic uses. Okay, and then apparently if you kill all the Doe's in this section, it's supposed to spawn an aberration boss. Is that all of them? Or did I miss one? There we go, it spawned it in. Oh, there's actually two of them. Can't see anything. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think that's it for this section. Alright, I'm back over at the last checkpoint I stopped off at, which is over here. I think this was the initial start for the glittering grotto, and then after the main objective, it brought me over to this side. And then Walt is over there. Let me go talk to him. Such power. <laughs> it is nice to see a familiar face around these parts. Even if it is a strange and hornless one, it has arrived at an opportune time. See, I have found another mural. This one is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This discovery is downright exhilarating. The implications, the possibilities, it's overwhelming in the best of ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. I <laughs> have a tendency to get carried away. Is my Paxful Tech friend in need of something? Uh, let's see what he has there for must sale. Be something the Paxful Tech is in need of. What is this? Reduces stamina consumption? I don't think I have this. Let me just buy one just to have it. And then this one I can't afford. I hope my friend's journey is as fruitful as my own. How can Walt be of service on this momentous day? I would be more surprised to hear otherwise. Uh, what did you discover? This means a lot. I forget what happens. Listen well. Thalos survived the plague that had long haunted the pan. After falling ill, he began hearing an unusual sound that seemed to come from the ground itself. Music. Strange music. 
with no instruments or voice to carry it. He ventured out to find the source. And what he found was her, Lydusa, a goddess of stone. In exchange for a year of companionship away from his people, she promised to cure him and give him the means to cure the others. He agreed. Oh, a very long time indeed, especially amid such uncertain times. In his time away, the plague had ravaged his tribe. But he was able to save those who remained and start over anew. The goddess had granted him an unusually long life, and he ruled over the Pan for several prosperous centuries. The Pan worshipped their new goddess, building a temple and singing her praises. Here is the exciting part. It is said that she grew fond of the Pan and actually taught them how to use her power over the living stones. Watch that fleshy mouth, Paxoltek! Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carried away. C carried away. The living stones are real. The result of the same precious life song I have searched for all my days. I knew I was meant to find both the song and the tribe. Now I understand why! Walt is a servant of fate! Does its furless skin have chills yet? In time, it will understand. I know this to be true. The power I speak of is great. Lydusa selfishly kept much of it to herself, but she at least taught the Lost Tribe to hear the music of the stones and control them in some small capacity. Naturally, they craved more. As do I, my friend. As do all of us with the heart of an adventurer. Understood, my friend. Will that be all? I hope we cross paths again. That's interesting. So Ledusa sounds a lot like Medusa. And then he mentioned stuff about song. There's a mod called like the Song of Ephir or yeah, something like that. Come. That you get from, I think, some quest in Yesha itself. So I don't know if it's referring to that or if it's referring to uh, these, these pedals that make these sounds. It sounds almost exactly the same as like the song of Ephir or whatever that thing is called and okay. that one slows down and means this one seems to stun the magic rock creatures. Oh what's happening over here? Oh it's actually moving down. So am I supposed to go inside there or I guess that's probably the main objective. How do I get down? Don't tell me you have to backtrack all the way. Let me see if I check that spot out. Okay, that's the shortcut door. Oh, it opens up. Yeah, it automatically opens up. Oh, there's one over here, too. Okay, that went down. I'm guessing this is probably for the left. Yeah, okay. Another shortcut door. Wait, I missed the I missed an item. Great, it's fine. It's probably just like some upgrade materials. Where did those bring me? Brought me all the way down. There's also this guy who have I haven't been able to communicate with. Not sure what he needs. Espadire. 
I took a lot of damage. I think it might have been because I summoned this dude. All right, let's do this. We'll see if I can talk to this guy now. No, I still can't. I also picked up the Kuri Kuri egg last time. A large blue egg that is shockingly sturdy. Your mouth waters a little thinking about the savory yolk that is undoubtedly contained within. It would take nothing less than a stubborn chef with a passion for innovation to crack this thing. Okay, so I have to take that to the chef. Let's see, um... Okay, so this pretty much brings me back to the start. And then this is the bridge that got lowered, which I have to get on top of. What is this? Oh, I think it was damaging me. Probably from the elite. Here they come. Okay, so let's see, this way probably takes me over to where I need to go. That was where there was a mini boss last time. How do I get inside that thing? Oh, it's literally from over there. Okay. I wonder if I can drop down without dying. Probably will die if I do it. Alright, so that's... I see. That probably is the main objective. So let me go down first. Will I die? Oh, I'm dead. No, I survived. Okay, so... Can't go inside there.
What the fuck? Oh, is this a booby trap? Let me swap over to Challenger in case I die. I have like a self revive. Where is it? This one? So hopefully I wouldn't die. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what I have to do. I have to make it across. Is that it? Alright, let me wait for this thing. Oh no. Okay, okay, I can dodge twice. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm kind of safe now, sort of. I wonder if I could get over to that edge. Okay, I should be fine now, I think. Oh, I'm totally not fine. Okay, let me go back. Kind of seems like this one isn't firing for some reason. secrets in the section I don't know these things are kind of glowing let me try heading over to one. Oh my god died instantly Nothing over here. Oh, I don't know if I can. And well, I'll just I'll just leave it for another time. I'm just gonna get out of here. All right, I'm out. Oh, what is this? Ooh, disciple mantle. Is that all? Is that everything for this section? I think so. Wait for it to shoot. Oh, that was a big dodge. Gotta be careful. That was close. Seems like only one of them is firing. Okay. Do I want to go check out that thing or not? I don't know. Let me go up there then. I think if I go in a straight line, I should be fine. Just gotta be careful. Oh my goodness. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. How close am I? I'm almost there. Anything. They literally don't do anything. I don't know what the point of these things are. Alright, let me see where I have to go now. That is the dude who can't speak. And probably have to come back up here. If I die, it should respawn me here, I think. And then I should just be able to go over there. That might be the best to do is just die. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right, so now I gotta go straight and then left. Oh no, this is where I lowered the bridge. 
have to go down the elevator. I can also, oh, I should have grabbed the crates when I was up there. It's okay. I think that was everything down there, yeah? Yeah, I don't see any red spots. Oh yeah, let me swap back to... Ritualist. The Bloodless Throne. Is this another dungeon? Might be. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Oh, that looks like a boss fight. Alright, so here goes nothing. Let me pop this thing for cooldown reduction to me. What did that do? Beware, hoofless beast. You gaze upon steadfast Lydusa, spirit of the land, nymph of the glittering grotto. When the ground beneath you shakes and quakes and tosses your fro, when boulders tumble and crush from above, when the deep dark caves twist and lead you astray, that's Lydusa's wrath. Now speak, before I petrify your flesh to never moving stone. Why do you trespass here? Exploration is thin veiled shelter for intrusion. You wish to steal from me, like all the other wicked beasts. But beasts will take anything from Lydusa, not anymore. For what's most precious to me has already been taken. The wicked beasts, the hooved ones, they stole Lydusa's precious thing. Without it, I can't tell my singing stones to cease their song of wrath. Yes. 
singing stones belong to Lydusa. Once they sang only sweetly. It was my magic that first sung them to life. A song to make them twirl and dance like wind-caught sand. But the wicked beasts twisted my sweet song to screams. I screamed and screamed. Now, poor Lydusa has lost something precious. The beasts stole it and locked it away. I can't sing without it. You, hopeless beast, will find my precious thing and return it to me. Do you feel the stone flesh within, turning your inside cold and still? That is my curse, the touch of Lydusa. And I won't lift it until you bring me what I seek. Alright, I'm guessing if I do this, she's just gonna tell me that I'll turn to stone and die, so probably have to go look for I, whatever it is she wants. I... I don't remember, but it was precious to me, and it was sundered, stolen. Without it, I am shadow split. I am not me. I am not Lydusa. When you find it, beast, you will know that it's mine, that it is precious. Now go, before you become petrified and useless. Most wisdoms are not for mortals to know. What happened to them? What happened to them? Ask their corpse dust what happened to them. The wicked beasts took what was not theirs. Now their squished flesh rots into loam. Lydusa was kind. She gave and gave. Wisdoms, magics, even the sweet, lilted song of the stones. But it was not enough for the beasts. Never enough. Not even in the end. Oh, wicked, wicked beasts. They deserved their deaths and more. The only one here, but not the only spirit. My sisters have all scatter danced to the wind to spread flower bloom and newborn springs. Only steadfast, lonesome Lydusa remains. I... I can't. I cannot go, beast. Not until I take back what is mine. Not until I'm me again, unbroken from all these pieces. Made whole. Until then, I remain here. So that is the dreadful stench drenched upon you. Hoofed ones, here. No, no, no. They should all be gone. My singing stones will crush this wonder hoof. <laughs> this beast is as naive as a newborn pebble. The hoofed ones are all muck and dirt water on their inside. Soft. Sweet Lydusa taught them the song of the stones. Singing stones to heat their food pots, cradle their little ones, carry their packs. Yet still they took, still they stole, still they hurt. I too trusted them once. I thought them harmless. But only lovely Thalos was a gem carved from a different rock. And the wicked ones took him, too. This Wanderhoof had dare not intrude upon Lydusa's secret place, or my singing stones will shred him through. Good. The spill sands of time are not on your side. Find Lydusa's precious thing, lest your flesh turn to stone. All right. I am... I have a debuff. Reduces armor by 15%. That sucks. I wonder if this is after calculations or before. Not sure. Now I have to go find her thing. Let me see if there's anything back here. Probably death down there. Alright, that's probably the way forward. Over that way. 
Let me go back to Ward 13 because I need to give the egg to a cook. And I'm assuming it's probably over there. I think I'll look up what the process is for unlocking the new subclass or the new class for this game or this DLC rather. Um, where is the cook? Did I kill any bosses? No, I didn't. Hey, shh, shh. act like we're talking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. But keep your voice down. I don't know if you know this, but I'm kind of known as the meat guy around here. Problem is, lately I've been looking to expand my horizons. Looking for something different to beef up my offerings. I feel like I'm having a sort of existential meat crisis. So I gotta ask, you got anything new I could try to cook? Something savory? Nah, I'm so conflicted. An egg. Hmm. Actually, that sounds exhilarating. All right, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Hmm, gonna have to put some thought into this. Why don't you go do your thing, like save the world, kill some baddies, and we'll meet up later. Well, look at you. I don't think she has anything new in the inventory. Okay, okay um. I guess that one is time, time gated. He took my egg. Yeah, it's no longer in my inventory. Scroll of binding. I think this one's for a weapon. I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory. All right, I'm going to go look up um, and try to see if I can find out the way to unlock the class without getting spoiled. All right, so I didn't really spoil myself too much. Supposedly, it's right down this way over at the... Um, the sand pit that I was in. Let me switch over to Challenger just in case. And apparently all you have to do is just like AFK in here for like a couple minutes. Until you like sink in. Oh, that was too much. So I think I'll just come over by this wall. And I think all I have to do is go AFK for like a while. And then it's supposedly supposed to sink you in and then you get the subclass. Oh, there we go. I think that was the right thing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wait, did it work? Oh, I don't think it works. Oh, I got scammed. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. This one and then this one doesn't seem to work. So I guess this is probably where they wanted you to be. Like to sink down. Less chance of you dying. Alright, so I think it's on the back one. I think it's on this one that you have to AFK. It's the second sand pile. And then let me swap this back over to whatever I had. I think it was this one. And swap back to the ritualist. And I'm just gonna AFK here. Uh, for the map, it's this corner of the room. This is where the armor was. And then. You just stand on the second sand pile, apparently. I'll see if it works this time. Alright, there we go. I also got a pop-up on the bottom left. Checkpoint updated. So I'm thinking it worked. Oh yeah, I think it worked. There we go. There it is, I see it. Old flutes. All right, so I went ahead and unlocked the invoker or bought it from the person at Ward 13. And it sounds really good. Gives you skill duration, skill cooldown, and then gives you like two of each. So um, if you look at the bottom right, there's like four charges on the Ritualist class. I can just attack her straight up, I think. It's fine though. I'll skip it for now. And then... I unfortunately did not grind for um, legacy protocol, so I don't have that. I think what I do want to build is like um, a max cooldown rate build with the uh, invoker and the ritualists. I think uh, when I was like fiddling around with stuff, uh, it showed that the cooldown was down to 80%. 
which I don't I think last time they capped it off at like 75% or 70% or something like that so I'm not too sure what's going on over there but I'll look into that um and then I'll grind up a uh, legacy protocol oh oh who's this oh hello there I didn't know somebody joined me If they try hijacking like the NPC dialogue and stuff, I'm just going to kick them. Otherwise, it's fine. There's so many times that people come in and they'll just try to like uh, rush through your story or whatever. And it gets really annoying. Luminous Veil. Oh, hello there. This guy's over here. Goddess. She tricked our poor king. She did. We had no choice. Sometimes one must do what must be done. They had no choice. Hmm? Oh, ha. forgive me, my friend. I have a lot on my mind. I found another piece of the story, and I am another step closer to the truth. It is tragic, bloody, a betrayal, some might say. But they would be wrong. That is just the way of things. Trust me, I know all too well. Anyway, does the Puxel Tech need something? I have new items on offer. Oh, he's selling new things? Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's see what he I got. I hope I have something of use for its journey. What are you selling? It's all the same things. I mean, he literally just lied to I me. I hope my friend's journey is fruitful. Can right. I be a... Spend well. Oh, oh, that was sick. It was like a giant wave attack. Where the fuck is this elite? Oh my goodness. It came out of nowhere. There's also some guys down there. Alright, let's see. There's a path that goes straight down this way. Look out! Oh, there's so many. goes back there is a path this way oh you know what I'm just gonna change it to friends only this guy's just like running ahead oh that's not what I wanted to do change it to friends only and I'm just gonna kick them all right Let's see, I gotta loop back. That will take me over to the side. A lot of damage. Let's see, 
this is like an illusionary wall? No, it's not. Is the end objective over there? Is it the main objective? It's not showing up on the map right now. Or maybe it's this thing? No, actually it's not. Okay. Um... Let me go this way. I haven't been over there, neither have I been on the upside. Let me start from the bottom. Out of room. Oh, imagine if you could just take this as a melee weapon, that would've been sick. Is a dead end. Ooh, a big chest. Mm, won't fit. Okay, I don't have any room for bandages. I couldn't grab that. Okay, now there's all of this upside section as well as this thing. I'm gonna head over to this side. Oh, there's a red item all the way up there. Statue. Yeah. Also, I have a tree point. Uh, I'll put it into vigor. I guess. I don't think the tree point got raised. I just didn't have enough collected. I guess. I don't know. What is this? Oh, this is the statue. Should I pull this right now? Cherished fracture. I think what this will do is it'll open up. Uh, my way forward. But before I do that, let me explore the rest of the map in case it like locks me out. I don't want to get locked out of stuff. Okay, that I can't open. That's the shortcut back to this section. I can't go that way right now, but I can probably go this way. No, great. More bad news. So I just have to go up. I also noticed that my death animation, when I took liquid escape with this buff active, it like turned me into stone. Where is this thing? I don't see- oh, there it is! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Oh, what the fuck? I thought my HP would have been- I wasn't paying attention to my HP at all. But yeah, that death animation over there, it turns you into stone. Alright, I'm back over here. I think this is where I died. I was like, up that way there should be an elite. Yeah, there he is. Come here, buddy. What Oh, I think it blocks me from using abilities when it screams. I was not able to do the tidal wave for whatever reason. Oh, it leaves statues behind where you die. That's really cool. I wonder if the buff gets stronger every time you die. No, it doesn't. How do I get across? Do this. It's 
see if that will track. It did. I think that reached. I'm not too sure. Oh, is this the main objective? So that's the side engine? Oh my goodness, I got scammed. Anything down this way? No, I don't think so. What's the point of this path here? Not sure. Okay, I'm gonna head back over to the lever that was over here and check what that is. Cherished cherished raptor okay right here um right by the main objective there's this section that i didn't explore and i should be able to just jump across i think yeah it works oh i thought that was for sure some enemies but i guess not Got a semi room over here and a hardened iron, and I think that's it. If I jump down, I probably will die. I'm gonna head back to the lever. Actually, change the plans. Oh, uh, this is where I was, where I got the semi room, and right down here, there's the section that I haven't explored. So let me go see what's in here. What is this place? There's an elevator. Where does this take me? Oh, this is where that red item was. Oh. the simplest things it's probably because i'm not respecting the 15 percent armor reduction so i'm like super squishy i just have to be a lot more careful as all well. this should trigger the elites all right let me get them debuffed come on slam down Oh, what the fuck is this? It's not showing up now, but at some point during that fight, like my eyes started glowing. I'm not sure what that was about. Oh, there's Walt. Trinity Memento. What does this do? You found this in your travels. It's some kind of artifact from Yisha's past and seems to be one piece of something larger. Though you're not sure what. It was no small feat to find this little trinket. But you're dying to figure out what mystery it's hiding. Can I do anything with this? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. I guess I have to find more pieces. Where does this take me? Ooh, a side dungeon. Let me go check that out. Goddesses rests. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here and then continue from here afterwards.